going to show you how to make this miniature artist oil paint tube today and I hope you enjoy the video. I'll include a full list of tools below in the description. Okay, so first up, take your 10 by 15 piece of cardstock and your larger toothpick, wrap it around. I coil it around just so it keeps its shape first. And then apply a little glue on one end, like so. Roll it around, keeping your edges nice and straight. So keep it uh, so it's nice and flat. And now you have one little tiny paper cylinder. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of one end, like so, and clamp that down with the forceps. And try to keep the seams, a uh, little seam on the back. And there you go. The forceps are nice because they leave little ridges on one end, which is a nice little detail. So we have our little hole that we punched out of our three millimeter punch and just dip the open end in the glue. That's the open end. And just tap it right on there. Make it nice and straight. And you're that much closer to a little paint tube. And there it is. Okay, so now that you have your tube and the glue is all dry on it, um, I use uh, the little forceps to hold it, and you're going to want to paint the entire thing black. Once your black paint's dry, take your silver metallic paint, and I use an old brush, and I just kind of dab it on, because you want to be able to see the black through there a little bit. So just dab that on. Okay, we're ready to put our label on. So here's the little piece I printed out, the little newspaper. You could print out, if you could find a paint label, you could print that out. Um, you could just use plain paper and write on it with a little Sharpie or paint a little color on there, whatever you want. Um, I just chose to do this one. So cut a little sliver and we're gonna glue that on kind of in the middle of the tube or wherever you think it looks good. Um, I think I did mine in about about the middle. Wrap that around, and you want your seam to line up with the other seam in the back, so all your seams are in the back, or at least all your seams are on one side. And I just cut it here to fit, so the seams, again, the seams line up good in the back. I need a little help with these tweezers here. I think I messed up my top a little bit there, but I fixed it. Okay, now we have our little seed bead and on the flat end of your tube, add a little glue and put the bead right on top there. And that's gonna be your lid. Just make sure it's straight in the center. And we're gonna just let that dry for a little while. Okay, so let me get cleaned up a little bit here first, and then we're going to add some color. Now this part's optional, you don't have to do it. If you want your paint tubes to be brand new, if you want a new set, I like mine to look used. I think it kind of adds a little life. So I'm gonna take my blue and paint down the side a little, and maybe even a little on the lid. I got paint on the lid while they were taking the lid off. And that's it, that's your final step. Here's your finished product. I really hope you enjoyed watching and thanks so much for stopping by my channel.